yangu hii mambo ya poor billionaires and rich millionaires it is something that you need to look into some depth honorable members it is just but a mindset when you believe you are a poor millionaire you will remain to be a poor millionaire but when you believe that you are a rich millionaire you can rise to the rank and be a rich millionaire so if you put yourself ukakuwa tu hapo ati wewe utakuwa tu hivyo even though vile utakuwa hii culture kusema ati you cannot it what it is what that has dominated the society mpaka wewe ukaona tu wewe tu ukakuwa maybe let me talk of inferiority complex that is inbuilt within you that you, you don't even believe in yourself you've lost confidence in yourself then you start blaming those who are who are pesa at their rich millionaire even those people you are calling rich millionaire they were sometimes poor they have only thrived the ladders by struggling having a mindset that they can be somewhere in life usikose kujiamini jiamini if you follow the stories of people like uh, Chris Kirubi where they started from if you follow the stories of some of these MCS or these political aspirants who are today millionaires they started from somewhere they were never born with these money that they have even you today if you think positively towards your life or towards your uh, mind of generating wealth you will achieve something hiyo tu ndio solution usikategorize mtu ni rich billionaire and then una sit pretty at me cannot reach there so the culture and the attitude we've seen me I'm from I'm from the lake region I've seen fishermen rise to the rank and be billionaires from the from only fishing as a commercial platform we've seen farmers who've been who've been doing tea farming coffee farming and some other stuff rise to the rank of being billionaires we've seen people who've owned estates around us honorable honorable speaker allow me to complete my arguments I, I will not flow let me flow let me flow mr speaker with your permission because i'm I, i'm live communicating to the media so i i want to flow i, I want to flow with my information mr speaker mr speaker allow this guy young guy okay come over come over come over see obiero listen thank you very much honorable members honorable biero you have to understand the standing order for the house it is high time you understood when somebody is arresting on a point of order, you have to respect Ask that. The Therefore, you've talked about billionaires. Others are lazy. That's why they are not billionaires. Can you tell us these billionaires from the inheritance? They are billionaires from inheritance. Alizaliwa, akapata any mtu mmoja akakuwa billionaire. Can you tell us if you base your argument on the laziness and people, you cannot be one? Can you tell us that? Ah, well, well, Nasud, I did not talk about laziness. I talked of a mindset. There's difference between laziness and mindset. Let me tell you, those there are those who've inherited their their wealth from their parents or their relatives, but today they are poor because they do not they do not have a positive mindset of propelling those wealth to the next level. So you, it is not about being lazy. It's about having a positive mindset of how you can generate wealth, whether from zero or from a platform that is already made for you. We've seen around, even across our village, I've not seen somebody's, uh, somebody's left, uh, his father or his mother left some properties, and he decided to sell everything. Is, is that, uh, how do you term that now? So this is something of a mindset. You only need a mindset that you can build, that I can be somewhere because of struggling. If I could believe at, at, you only get wealth by inheritance, then you'll remain poor because you come out with an inheritance. Eh? Are you getting that? You, let, let us just believe. So today, you, you, don't, you, you, your father is poor. You cannot be a millionaire. You can't be a millionaire. If you struggle and believe that I can be, you can. Yeah, and my case is a businessman and I wish him well. He can one day be a billionaire. So the culture could be at all billionaires in inherited, inherited wealth. That is wrong. That is a very wrong mentality. Not all, I can, I can, we can give a list of millionaires in this country who started from somewhere. And there was, even if you go through these media houses, you've seen them giving their history. Yeah. I, the, ne the next point, Mr. Speaker, about appoint, appoint, uh, appointed cabinet nominees. Mr. Speaker, the appointed cabinet nominees i'm convinced and i have believed that some are only cronies to the president but not competent ministers 
And as a result of that, there are chances His Excellency Dr. William Samuel Ruto will not perform. Even if it was a reward, but you ought to have rewarded them in some other areas. But when it comes to ministries, there are those, in the, I'm not going to name anybody, but there are those that we've looked through our medias, as they were being interviewed, they are not competent. And I'm calling upon the Parliament of Kenya not to be a rubber stamp of such nominees. Those nominees will be scrutinized and sent home, or reservations to be given to the president and look for some other nominees. There are those nominees that will not propel the agenda of the president. And we want to see what they will do. But if they happen to go through, then let him expect a very dangerous government. And a very poor performance as well. And a very hard, and even harder uh, cost of living to the normal Mwanainchi. If he, if he happens to nominate them. Uh, president's uh, issues about Kalonzo Musioka. Honorable members, Kalonzo Musioka was in national function. Yeah, Mashuja Day. I think you saw him there. He has started negotiating silently. And you know who Kalonzo Musioka is? Uh, if, if, he, if he happened to, in, I, I doubt whether he was invited, he only invited himself <laughs> to, to, the, to that. Kalonzo has started negotiating how he's coming for the Nusumkata. I think he's, he's trying to, 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 to show that he's, he, he, he's, he's considering Ruto as the legit president, walking away from his team of Baba. So Kalonzo, tunamjua. Yeah, yeah, tunamjua. We are just waiting for him to be fully welcomed in Kenya Kwanza. Nisiku chache tu vile some of my friends have said here. Nisiku chache tu tutona Kalonzo hapo. Yo tusikuwe na wasiwasi. Tuyetu nikawedake tunamjua. Atakula huko, then atasimama nataka president. 2027. Sayia natavuta pesa ya kampeni. Ile ilikuwa kwa account, imepotea kidogo. Sasa nda kuenda hapo kenya kwanza chukua a few coins a rule now 2027. The last point, Mr. Speaker, about Honorable Raila Molodinga, that is the looking pin. Mr. Speaker, there is something here that people should understand. Kenya is a democratic state and it embraces uh, and it's also a multi-party state. But it's surprisingly, surprisingly enough, the Luo community are still facing one party state. <laughs> the Luo community are still facing one party state. If you go to the Luo kingdom, if you don't belong to that party, you are not, your chances of becoming a member of parliament is zero. Let us embrace political diversity. It is when we will know we will have a list of competent politicians. Then from the list of competent politicians, we can understand who is best to be the kingpin. Because it is not through one party, it is when we will identify our kingpin. But if you can bring a list of politicians from a variety of parties, we will see, we will have a broader base of choosing who is, doing, who is best for what. But in culture, you have to experience one political party. So if you don't belong in that political party, then you don't become an MP. If you don't belong in that political party, you don't become a governor. You don't belong in that political party and become an MCA. That culture must stop, Mr. Speaker. Honorable members, honorable members, if you want to rise to the occasion and one day grow, believe in diversity. But if you believe in monopoly, you will be a dwarf and a dwarf forever. And that's what we need in the Luo Kingdom. We don't, we don't need, we don't need, we don't need kingpins. But we need diversity of culture, diversity of politics, and we will grow. Honorable members, honorable members, those are my submissions. Thank you very much. Since we have a limited time, I just want to give three people